Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple application in Xcode, which is a program that lets you code in the coding language, programming language C, or Objective C, or C++, I believe. Um, but the application today we're going to be coding actually requires no coding whatsoever. So we're going to open HideApps, which is the program that we're going to be making today. And we're just going to run. So I've got Xcode and Google Chrome open. And basically we're going to, uh, this program is going to hide apps, show apps, and quit. So what those did is hide apps, hit all the other applications, show apps, showed the other applications, and quit, actually quit the application itself. Alright, so now it's making this. We're going to close this and go in Xcode, and we're going to create a new Xcode project. The project that we want to make is under OSX, Application, Coco Application. Click Next. Product Name. This can be any name that you choose. I'm just going to call it Simple App. Now you need to choose a, an area on your computer where you would like to save this application. I'm going to save it under my Mac Apps folder on my desktop and hit create. You don't really have to do anything with the summary, info, build settings, build phases, or build rules. All you need to do is go down to main menu, XIB, which you will find on the left. Now we're going to get right to building the application. Make sure you're on the cube and find, make sure you're under object library. Then you want to go, you want to go down to this little search menu, this little search bar and click and type in window. Now you can choose window, panel, textured window, HUD window, or window and drawer. I'm just going to choose um, HUD window for this. What you want to do is just click and drag into here, into this area with the grids. This is your application building area. Now that we have a window, we want to resize it to a reasonable size for our application. So I like that size right there. It'll be just big enough so that the buttons aren't taking up the entire area, but the buttons aren't going to be huge. So now that we actually now we actually need the buttons to put into our window, so we're going to go back down to the search bar. We're going to search for buttons. Button, rather, button. I'm just going to use a regular round rect button. I'm just going to drag this in right there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger though. Now that I have one button, I'm going to add two more, and I'm going to do this by selecting round rect button, not button cell, just round rect button. You can see the difference on the left, and I'm just going to click the window and hit command V two times after I hit command C while selecting round rect button. Now I'm going to organize these the way that I want them. Alright, so now that I've got three round rect buttons, I'm going to label each one. We can do this by selecting the button, going to this little shield type shape thing on the top here, and we're going to go down to title. This one is going to be hide applications, enter and it'll turn into hide applications. However, I want to change the font, so I'm gonna click this little T, and I'm gonna go do family, and I'm going to pick one that I like. That'll do for now, just for the sake of this video. And I'm gonna make the size 15, so it's a little bit bigger. So now that we basically built the physical appearance of our application, we need to make everything work. We can do this without coding by holding, by clicking round rect button. Um, I'm going to choose the top one first. Hold, I'm going to hold control. I'm going to click and drag to first responder and let go. I want to choose hide other applications. 
So now this just synced hide applications, this button, with that command. Now I'm going to hold control and click show applications and bring that one to first responder. I'm going to go down all the way to the use and choose unhide all applications. Now I'm going to do the quit. This one's a little bit different. We're going to still hold control and drag, but we need to find terminate. Under the T's, terminate. All right, so basically we just built our app and it will work. We can test it by clicking run and it will build our app and compile it. Now it's going to come up with this window and we don't need that so we're just going to close it. Now before we do anything, we're just going to go into mission control by clicking this icon or taking three fingers and swiping up on our mouse pad. So we can see that I have Google Chrome and Xcode open. So I'm going to test this application by clicking hide apps. Alright, so it appears that they're all hidden, but we're going to check this by going back into mission control. Yup, there's no applications here. It worked. Now we're going to try this again by clicking show applications. Okay, I've got Google Chrome and Xcode. Looks like this application is working so far. Now we're going to click quit. It did quit. It's it did quit itself so we do know that all the buttons are functioning properly now we need to find a sound I'm going to hold command and choose each of these buttons and then I'm going to go into the right the same menu that we chose our title and I'm going to go down to sound for the sound I'm going to choose pop now if we turn our volume up and run again we can test to make sure that the sounds work by hiding. You can hear the pop. And now we're going to hit quit. Alright, so it sounds like both or all the buttons are working. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please leave this comment a like. If you have any helpful criticism, you can also leave that in the comments below or you can message me on this YouTube channel. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and have a nice day.